Hey guys, it's Jennifer from Breakthrough Maths and welcome to this video on how to form function equations. So we're given the graphs of the functions y is equal to the h of x and y is equal to k of x. And we're told that we have to write down the roots of each function and hence or otherwise write down an equation for each function. So the hence or otherwise there is telling us that we have to use the roots to form the functions. So this is being nice when it's telling us to find the roots. If it didn't tell us to find the roots and it just said to find the equations, you need to remember to find the roots first. So we'll start off by doing the roots. So we know the roots are wherever a function crosses the x-axis. So we'll mark in where both functions cross the x-axis. So for h of x, it's where x is equal to minus 2 and where x is equal to 3. And for k of x, it's at minus 3 and plus 2. So where x is minus 3 and where x is equal to 2. Okay, that's the roots done. Now, hence or otherwise, write down an equation for each function. So we do not need our graphs for the moment, so I'll just zoom up on our workings. So to find the equations, what we have to do is bring everything to one side. So we have x is equal to minus 2. So we'll bring that all to the left and we'll have x plus 2 is equal to 0. So the 2 just changed to plus. Then x equals to 3 will give us x minus 3 equals to 0. We then put these in brackets, so x plus 2 and x minus 3, and we put them equal to 0. And now we'll just use the split and repeat method to multiply them out. So x minus 3, x minus 3, and then we split the x plus 2, and that's all equal to 0. So when we multiply the x in, we'll have x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 equals to 0. So writing our equation h of x equals 2, it'll be x squared minus x minus 6. Okay, so we can see that minus 3x plus 2x gives us that minus x. Okay, on to the next one then. Bringing everything to one side, we'll have x plus 3 equals to 0 and x minus 2 equals to 0. Again, bundling them up in brackets, x plus 3 and x minus 2 equals to 0. We do our split and repeat, so x minus 2, x minus 2 and x plus 3 all equal to 0. So we'll have x squared minus 2x plus 3x minus 6 equals to 0. So that will give us x squared minus 2x plus 3x is plus x minus 6. And that's how you form function equations. 